Well, I really didn't think I was going to make this video because at this point in 2021, I thought that shipping prices were going to go back to relatively back to normal and I am completely wrong and I think that actual shipping prices are going to increase throughout 2021 now and into 2022 and it sucks because we don't anticipate paying this much in shipping costs but this might be the new normal and I think you should go ahead and ship out any inventory now as opposed to later on in 2020 because it is going to be a mess in my opinion and we're going to go over why that is what is going on right now and what is causing me to have the hypothesis that we're going to see even more elevating pricing and i'm just going to go right into it if you guys don't follow my youtube channel my name's eman los angeles i would really appreciate a like we discuss everything amazon fba but i think that this topic at hand here is anybody who manufactures any products overseas especially in china because as you guys know in 2020 at the end of it and now in 2021 shipping prices are ridiculous but let me go ahead and stop talking let's go on to these articles here so this article is actually from bloomberg and it says container rates to us top ten thousand dollars as shipping crunch titans and this article is written on july 15th about a month month ago and that's already outdated information because as of right now shipping 40 foot containers are even higher obviously duties are separate this is just to actually ship a container from shanghai to la and to europe and if we go down here we'll see this graph here you can see that from 2015 all the way to 2020 shipping prices were right around the 1500 to the los angeles port and about two thousand dollars to europe and as you can see there has been a high trajectory and obviously we have COVID that first started. Then we had a bunch of lockdowns and now we have this Delta variant and we might experience even further lockdowns. And you might've heard me say lockdowns. And yes, if you live in Europe, in most parts of Europe or here in the United States, you might say the lockdowns are not as severe as they once were in 2020. But in China, that is not the case. And as you can see on this different article here, it says that right now the China's port shutdown raises fear of closure worldwide and basically just reading through this right here a covid outbreak has partially shut down one of the world's busiest container ports and is heightening concerns that a rapid spread of the delta variant would lead to a repeat of last year's shipping nightmare and we all know what happened last year where factories shut down the ports were shut down and we couldn't get our inventory out of china and what did that result in it resulted in a lot of st out of stock type of issues not that we don't have the demand right now because demand is pretty steady as far as products are concerned here in the united states it's not as crazy as it once was in 2020 but I anticipate a lot of companies running out of stock. And once they run out of stock, they're obviously going to start purchasing your inventory as a competitor. But that means that then we are going to run out of stock. And it's just going to be a race as far as who cannot go out of stock first. And the one that does it is going to reap the benefits. And if you manufacture your products overseas, we're probably on the same page. In 2021, we're ordering more units than we actually anticipate. And we're ordering more often. And that's because we don't want to deal with this whole supply chain issues lost revenue for my products drive me crazy but at the same time we really don't have any control over this because before 2020 it used to take me anywhere between five to seven weeks from when my actual products are finished i purchase fast sea shipping and it gets here to my house in five to seven weeks that is not the case anymore it's taking roughly right around 12 weeks now and that's because ships are just stuck at ports and they're not getting checked in and again bloomberg went ahead and did an updated piece as far as what and how many ports are actually have ships that are just sitting there not even being checked in for pickup and as you can see that all of 2020 here um we really didn't have an issue as far as ships being here in the Los Angeles port, right? Maybe three three ships are stuck there, one ship, one ship. But now that we got into 2021, we can see how many actual ships are just there lingering at the ports. And we're not just talking about a 40-foot container. We're talking about hundreds, if not thousands of 40-foot containers that are stuck on these ships. And that's 
big news because not only as a mom and pop type of manufacturer there's huge companies as well and we're all struggling with this and as you can see in the middle of 2021 we actually started seeing less and less but now that China is shutting down again, and now that there is more and more inventory coming from China into the United States, you can see this elevation. And what is coming up now? It is Q4, where a bunch of people stock up a lot of inventory that hasn't even left China as of yet. And then right after Q4, what comes next? It is Chinese New Year. So for the foreseeable future, prices are going to rise. And I hate to always say this because my freight forwarder always says, order more inventory, order more inventory. The thing is, we all have cash flow type of issues, right? If I could, I would order enough inventory for the entire year. But there's certain things why I don't do that, right? First is cash flow. Then it's actually going ahead and having quality control. I want to be order, be able to order a little bit of amounts of inventory because I want to make sure that I don't get a bad batch. Obviously, there's different reasons as, as, as to why you would want to go ahead and split up your shipments. But at the same time, if you can afford it, get more inventory and ship out your products as soon as possible because we don't want to go ahead and relive 2020 where all of our inventory were just stuck at these ports and we had lockdowns. So again, if you guys appreciate this video, please like this video because it's going to get circulated with people that are just like you and me that are concerned as far as what is going to happen with our business as we create more and more products overseas. So I would really appreciate a comment on this video. What are your thoughts? What are you going to do? To do. But until next time, guys, peace.